Here I am once again at my new workshop and it's painting time. Painting the workshop under duress and fitting the shelving brackets. After a second coat of the sky blue paint it's starting to look okay. I think the door may need more. The inner walls of the workshop are made from this stuff and it's really difficult to paint because it's far from flat. I enlisted the help of my grandchildren. This is my granddaughter Emily cleaning the bottom part of the wall before she paints it. Emily is only seven years old and she's doing quite a good job. She's never done any painting so that should be fun. I'd like to introduce you to my 11 year old grandson William who's about to apply a second coat of blue paint to the window wall. I'll just give Emily a few words of encouragement. That's it, work faster. And on command that's what she did. Emily hadn't fully grasped the technique of painting with a roller. Emily, don't move on to the next bit until you've covered all of the first bit. Luckily my grandchildren are very smart and they learn fast. You've got it, that's how you do it. Pick up a little bit, that's it. Faster slave, faster. Wait, where you're asleep now? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh, come on! Wait, I'm the youngest slave you've had. With both of these small people working quite well, work's progressing at a good speed. In this shed there are plenty of spiders. Spiders! I killed a spider. Another. In fact, when I first went in there, it was like something from a horror film with spider webs hanging down. Slowly but surely, we're getting rid of them. Not necessarily by killing them, by moving them out into the garden. Or in Emily's case, painting them into the wall. Everything was going okay until I asked William to do this. Clear out lots of pieces of wood. So first of all, he fills the basket so full that he can't lift it. He's not really going about this job very well. I think he's getting withdrawal symptoms. Spiders! From his Xbox addiction. And he's not too keen on the spiders. As I said, he filled the basket too full, so now he's going to have to take some of the wood out of the basket, carefully avoiding touching any of the spiders. This video is obviously edited. It took a bit longer than this to do these painted jobs and filling the baskets, etc. And by this time, Emily was getting bored and William was going cold turkey on his Xbox addiction. A sign of this is a strange way that he's moving, but finally he gets sufficient wood in the basket to take it outside and down to the skip. In the foreground are some of the things I threw out of the shed. The first thing was this rubbish red shelving unit. No, not on there, go into the deep bit. How to use a paint roller. Get a big lump of deep bit and then, then now put it on there and roll it. Then get another deep bit again. Not bad for a seven year old. And roll it again. After about an hour of doing this, both of them got a bit fed up of it. And it was only when I uploaded the footage to the computer to edit it that I realized that William was filming Emily painting the bottom part of the wall, which is what I wanted her to do in the first place because I find it difficult painting down there. Years of moving heavy musical equipment about has taken its toll finally. There are spiders. Don't you just love getting old? Up and across. My grandchildren shut the main door and they both disappeared. Emily went to play with the little girl next door and Willem, of course, went back on his Xbox. Here's the disadvantage of letting a seven-year-old loose with a paint roller. You get paint on the floor, but as I said earlier, I probably will paint this floor. I've finished off the rest of the painting and now the paint is almost dry. I can fit the shelf brackets. The first one's going in place. Place a shelf bracket on the wall in the same position as the roof joists, which are at two foot centers. Then I attach the bracket to the wall using one wood screw. And before I fit the second wood screw, I make sure that it's perfectly level using a spirit level. Doing the job this way, make sure that all of the shelf brackets are parallel to each other. I repeat the process and screw all the brackets to the wall and now it looks like this. You can clearly see under the light of my new LED tubes that I fitted that all of the brackets seem to line up with each other. When the wood's in place this will form a pair of very long shelves. Underneath these shelves I'm going to put some kitchen units with a full length worktop all the way across. This is largely going to be the storage area in the workshop. It's very important to have somewhere to put things. The machine tools will be in front of the blue walls and there will be some other workbenches all around the white area. That has to be it for now. I have something called plantar fasciitis which affects my feet very badly, particularly when I walk on uneven ground like it is all the way outside the workshop and around the house. The pain threshold in my ankles and feet has now reached critical mass. I think it's time to stop. That's it for this video. I'm going to put my feet up. I'm sure it will all be worth the pain in the end. Thanks for watching. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website. 
click on the section of the website that says video playlists and by doing that you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.